and the big breakfast. Hello, viewers. What are we doing now? We're doing a bit of potholing. Why? Because we've found the big breakfast cave, first of all, which is quite exciting. But also, it's the feast day of St. Benedict, the patron saint of potholers. So like Britain's 12,000 enthusiasts, we've got exploring in the Big Breakfast Cave here and uh, I'm with an expert, which you must be of course if you do this, Clive Gardner. Here he is. Hello Clive. Hello. He's from London's Chelsea Caving Club. Lots of caves in Chelsea. Oh yes. Uh, little VW Golfs and lots of caves. That's what you get in Chelsea. So uh, where are Britain's best caves would you say? I would say Yorkshire and South Wales. Okay. What kind of caves can we find there? Uh, vertical shafts in Yorkshire yeah. and long horizontal systems in South Wales, including the largest underground passage in the country. Oh blimey, the largest wow. underground passage in the country. Have you been down that one? Uh, yes, I have. It's called the Time Machine. Is it? How long does it take to get through that? Um, it could take you, it's a quarter of a mile long, so it could take you ooh, half an hour, maybe even longer. Oh, that's scary. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what about equipment? What have we got here, first of all? Right, OK, let's look at what a caver wears, starting okay. from the top down. Yes. Helmets Helmet. keep you um, protected against the rock, right. if you bang your head Very on lodges of rock. A good light, you need... There you um, are, viewers, good light there. Right, yep, you need uh, 10 to 20 hours to keep you going. A right. uh, decent oversuit, something uh, nylon or PVC, oh, right. there you go. and right. this, this keeps you um, reasonably dry and certainly warm. And then underneath, you need to have a decent pair of boots. Yes. Uh, now, Standing on rock, you've actually got to be able to get good friction. They're like decent boots, aren't they? Those decent boots. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right, now moving on a bit. If moving you want, on. If you want to go, when you go into the caves, they're very hard, yes. so to protect you on your elbows, you have a pad here, yes. uh, or you could have a knee pad. Yes. Um, and then if you want to go a bit further right. and explore passages that no one's ever been Ooh. into before. Uh, Virgin passages. Right, yes. the two obstructions you'll meet, one could be... What What's that for? Right, this is boulders. And boulders. if you want to get rid of boulders, then just leave the crowbar in. Jiggle them around right. and make sure they don't fall on your head. Okay, you can get one of those off any, any friendly burglar that might be near you. Yep. And, uh, this is in case you want to do any gardening while you're down there. Right, it? if you want to go gardening, there yeah. might be clay in the tunnel or yeah. sand and it's in the way and you want to get rid of it, yes. you're lying out on your tummy yes. and you can't quite get through. So you push this little pointing trowel in and then it will kill the sand. Clive, there. I'm there with you. Can we go potholing now? Yeah, let's go into let's this go tunnel. Let's go through a tunnel. We've got a tunnel here right. in the big now, breakfast cave. Looks like a table with a cloth in it, but it's not, honestly. Yeah, it's now a mind your head and okay, watch yeah. the water and the okay. mud. The water and the mud. Okay, let's go. On your side. Let's see what we can find. So this is a this is a horizontal tunnel. This is a horizontal tunnel, okay. a bit of a squeeze here. Okay, yeah. And we're going to a vertical tunnel now. We're going to have a shaft here. Okay, yeah. and who's climbing? Oh, somebody's climbing. Who are you? Henry Bennett. How Hi. are you? Good Pretty to meet you. What's good. he doing? Climbing up there? Right, he's trying to get up this vertical shaft here. It's yes. quite a long way up. Now, he's using rope, yes. which is one of the three techniques that you use to go up a right. shaft. And um, it's a bit like a spider on a spider's yes. thread. Uh, if it's not quite such a deep shaft, you'd use a ladder like this one, sort of a wire. Um, it's a roll up and it's very lightweight, it's right. not very difficult. To, uh, or otherwise, you use your fingertips and right. your elbows and but your But it's a bit slippy though. Um, it can be, but you have with your good You're right up there. No problem. Safe just hanging you. around. John, can we have, just have a close up here? What, what's this? <laughs> Look at this. What that's, is, that's my lunchbox. What is it? Look at it. Is that like a protective thing? That's a protective thing, yes. Oh, it's, yeah, right. it's purely for protective purposes. Look at that. No pain there. Yeah. Right, what are we do now? We're going diving, aren't we? Right, now it's pouring with rain out here. Okay, we, um, got, we actually haven't got a real a real underground river here at the Big Breakfast House. Yeah, well, so we've had to simulate one. Who's this? That's right, this is a cave diver. Who is he? What's his name? Right, his name's Andy. Andy, Andy. isn't there now? Yep. Now, uh, when you go in the cave yes. um, tunnel, it's flooded with water. So you've got to wear the right equipment. Yeah. Have a, two sets of diving gear here, wearing yeah. on your side, a bit different than an ordinary diver. Right. Now this is the pinnacle of caving, and it's something you only tackle when you're very experienced. So you've got to do all the climbing through the caves first of all. Absolutely. And then you go diving while you're down there. Right at the furthest Absolutely reaches. Absolutely mad, isn't it? Really. It's not for the claustrophobic at all, is it? Uh, no, no, definitely not. Okay. And do you highly recommend a potholing? I would definitely, indeed. And what? some sites that you'll never believe you can see. A once in a life experience. Exactly. Under God's earth. That's it. Thank you very much, Clive. Good to yes. meet you. Bit of potholing over your breakfast. Here's a bit of gossip now. Snap, cackle and pop starring Deborah Winger.